Colonel Byron D. Sullivan, uh, Commanding Officer of VMX-1, Marine Corps Operational Test Evaluation Squadron 1. We are always working on digital interoperability inside the Marine Corps so that we can make sure that our aircraft and all of our weapon systems communicate with our ground commanders uh, to execute our mission. But it's even more important when we have an opportunity to participate with the Army, the Navy, and the Air Force. There was a lot of, lot of work and effort that went into integrating a bunch of different systems from across the different services. When we actually executed the event, we had Navy, Air Force, and Army assets, and the Marine Corps is a part of the Navy. We had F-35s airborne, E-2s airborne, B-1s airborne, and we had uh, Army units on the ground, in addition to Navy units on the ground. Although the information was seen with one platform or gathered with one platform, it was passed to every one of those entities and to more uh, across all of the services. The F-35 found a target, passed it through the Common Aviation Command and Control System uh, from the Marine Corps. From then, they networked into various different shooters and other entities for SA and information sharing, whether that was to a Navy shooter, an Army shooter, an Air Force shooter. Project Convergence 21 is a tremendous opportunity for us to take advantage of that. And as the Marine Corps, we're very happy to be here uh, to participate with uh, U.S. Army Futures Command.